Growth hacking is commonly associated with Silicon Valley startups. They just don't have a choice. They don't have historical data and they have everything to prove. As soon as you have a bunch of happy customers who bring in more money than they cost to acquire and serve, then you can and should adopt a more strategic marketing model. But you need those customers first. To sum it up, if you don't have a product or market fit yet, go for growth hacking. If there's a clear market and demand for your product, choose growth marketing. Think of virality and reach for your product. If it has a high potential for wide reach, go for growth hacking. If it has a more niche product, go for growth marketing. Think of wearable tech or a gaming social app versus let's say a company that sells electrical furnaces. And finally, how saturated is your market? If you have a clearly superior product but don't have a ton of competitors yet, feel free to lay low on a brand business for now and opt for growth hacking. However, as soon as competitors start showing up, you better make sure you don't let them push your price down. That's what usually happens when you don't have a strong brand to protect you. Therefore, growth marketing is the key. Subscribe to my channel for more videos about growth marketing. And also take a look at this playlist right here about the fundamentals of growth marketing.